Here are my top five favourite acts from Britain's Got Talent 2022. In position number five, we have Ryland Petty. This young guy was super confident. He didn't look nervous at all. And he did a fantastic routine, especially the Rubik's Cube stuff that he did. I thought it was extremely well choreographed, the whole thing. And he even used the Young Magicians Club of the Magic Circle, which I think was a nice touch as well. He's going to have a huge future ahead of him because he's only nine and he's already a great magician. In position number four, we have Eva. Abley. I thought Eva was absolutely hilarious. She is so brave and so inspirational that we will no doubt be seeing lots more of her on TV in the future. In position number three, we have Jamie and Chuck. Being honest, usually I don't really like ventriloquism acts, apart from a few that I've seen in the past, like Paul Zerdin, I think is fantastic. But Jamie and Chuck were hilarious. I think it was really well planned, really well put together. The jokes were spot on. And it was a really nice moment to see someone who'd learnt something in lockdown and was doing so well on a show like Britain's Got Talent. And I'll let you in on a little secret. I gave two of my five votes to Jamie and Chuck. In position number two, we have Matrix Illusion. Now, I was very lucky a few months ago to do a show alongside Matrix Illusion, and they are such lovely people. And their first audition especially went down an absolute storm. I think it's very rare that we see old school magic with dancers and uh, the showbiz and the big illusions. We very rarely see that anymore, but they brought it back to life in a real modern twist. And when they produced Simon Cow, it was hilarious. And they will be doing amazing in the future. No doubt at all. And in position number one for me, it was the winner, Axel Blake. I thought he was fantastic. I think the great thing about Axel, all of his material felt really relatable to everyone. No matter where you were, who you were, where you're from, I felt like everyone could understand and get behind the jokes. And the thing I'm most excited about is to seeing what he does on the Raw Variety Show. I'm not sure who's going to be on the Raw Variety Show. It'll probably be Prince Charles, I reckon, this year. Let me know in the comments who your favourite is. See you next time.